Good morning to everybody. We are here to cover the Decipher Retro event top four. It's me, Robbie Hendon, and Justin Miyasharo, who are going to be doing commentary. Say hi, Justin. Hello. And the game has just started. I've got it pulled up. Uh, are you able to see it, Justin? Yes. Okay. So it looks like it's Hunt Down versus Senate, which is kind of what I expected to actually happen last night, to be honest. Um, oh. Yeah, I know, we, I know we saw Senate against Senate uh, for the... Oh. That's awkward. Yeah. Uh, so for those who can't read the chat, uh, Casey's saying he loaded the wrong deck, which I assume he is discovering now. And of course I can't talk in chat, so that was pointless. Oh yeah, oh no. <laughs> that's, that's just the best care. Yeah. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I know we saw Senate for Senate. Uh, game one. Game one, and uh, I, uh, I I know that KTOD are well known for playing Senate, but it did seem to me. I mean, based on how I, I watched that game. No, and I was going to say, I, I don't expect Steve to play Dark Side Senate, just because if Casey plays Light Side Senate, it, the game's over. Um, Light Side Senate is so favored against Dark Side Senate um, that it's it's not even funny how, how much favored it actually is. Um, so I expected Steve to play something else. I did not expect Casey to play you know something else, but... If Casey was doing the mind games thing of, well, if Steve's going to play something else, he'll probably play Hunt Down, being up 21. But, I mean, I think you had to submit your decks a couple days in advance anyway. Yeah, I think they did. Okay, so they are going to, they canceled so. the game and are just going to restart it now. Yeah. And Hunt Down was, like, so back in the time frame, like, you basically had Dark Senate on top for Dark Side, but then you had Hunt Down, but Hunt Down didn't always do well against the combat decks um and you know Casey's doing the pod racing oh Steve put in a racer that's good that'll help him with the defensive shield um but yeah like light side you know you had combat you had senate you had watch your step you know you had a lot of variants in the decks that you could play There's the fish counterplays. But Colo's so good that you should if you you know, you should start it as Dark Side, because combat will start it too. And oh, yeah. and but it, what it also does is it, it since Casey started racing, it means he doesn't get to play Goonie Tay now. Now to me Goonie Tay is more important, but you know, now Steve's going to have plenty of force to be able to, um, you know, do things on his turn to activate, to play guys. You know, he can get now multiple Jedi down, you know, turn one, or, ter or sorry, by turn two, and force Casey to, um, you know, have to deal with them. And that combat struggles if you can get two, three guys down there and can stack it because they can't yeah, cause they, cause they can battle into you but you can't battle back you can only, like, right. only, only lightsaber combat and only kill one guy if that mm -hmm. yeah and they can't um, you know usually if, if you do if you stack one site with two guys there you know they're going to have to move into you and then they're going to have to react away so then you're going to be able to um you know, you're going to be able to, um, you know, 
battle that into them and then you can sense or do other things to stop that react now you know I know Baroni's playing hunt down oh well, that's awkward Casey must have either loaded the wrong deck or built his deck wrong. It's, uh, it's not often that you play we center <laughs> one and give him a verify. <laughs> Just, that, that's, uh... <laughs> yeah. Like, either he's got it in his hand or... I wonder if he only put boss Nash chambers in there and didn't I'm put the... To get a battle plan. Yeah. No, it doesn't. So that's that might be one of those things. I I think he might have done. But if we don't see a boss nest chamber out of his uh, opening hand. Well, actually, as I'm reading the combat objective again, the boss nest chamber I guess actually is kind of is kind of decent since you your the force chains can't be canceled in the boost sites with a Jedi. It does still apply to boss nest chambers. So that's that's something. I, or to um, not boss nest chambers to battle plans. Yeah. So that, that's something. Yeah, I mean, this is all pretty standard. What did Steve spin? Oh, he used two force oh, to stall. Oh, okay. Sure, sure. I have never seen that text happen before. Well, yeah, nobody nobody plays the the dark side pod racer, really. So well, I I think I so I didn't watch or play any of this any of this event. Um, but I don't know that I have seen Oh. At least not for a long time, so. Well, this will be a treat for you then. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, right now the race, you know, so Bulba adds three to every one of his draws, so he's up seven to zero on Casey right now. You know, you just got to get to 24. Um, the unfortunate thing for Steve is he drew first strike, which you probably only have one of in the deck. So first strike is kind of one of those cards you can start using to... Um, uh, to at least do damage to Casey at some point too. Yeah. I mean that card will go back at some point here. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and then he'll be, and then Steve will track it around, get it to his hand, and do what he needs to do. Um. Yeah, but it's. Uh, I'm sure he would rather like an ex like an extra accelerator. Or something. Right. Exactly. Yes. Interesting too that like Steve's hand must be kind of weird here since he didn't use you cannot hide forever and he didn't take an action um, prior to activating. Yeah, so Hunt Down usually played f um, a system with the you cannot hide forever, so it it would deploy Karita. Um, but the problem is Hunt Down space is a little slow, whereas Casey could just drop Hanju in the Falcon there. So I'm sure Steve probably just didn't want to deploy the system and give, um, you know, give Casey a spot to go to, and yeah, start draining. I would have assumed he would still take it into hand, though. Yeah, I mean, he may have already had it in his hand too at that point. Yeah. That would so be. Yeah. I presume, he has, I presume he has one of these effects, although, as I think about it, the, the ones that I would think he would have are virtual, so I don't actually know if he does or not. I guess um, security security precautions, right, qualifies, so probably he has that. Yeah. I would assume he has uh, something there. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm trying to fix your volume. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh yeah, I should. I'm gonna open the Twitch streams so that I can see the chat because otherwise <laughs> I can't see the chat. All right. Well, it does look like Casey had to speak with the Jedi Council, and the the Jedi Council chamber was in his deck. Okay, there we go. We got it fixed. Uh, audio settings are such a fun thing to have to play around with when you you use like one 
console that gets passed around to a bunch of people, so... Yeah. Ah, he did have the boss Nash Chambers hand. So you must have thought he had the battle planes in there then and just decided to give Steve a free peek at 43 cards of his deck. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And he has a Jedi on turn one also. Yeah, I mean, they should. Um, yeah. And the only card that, you know, he can actually... Um, oh, he had goo in his hand too. That's great. That was a great start for Casey. Um, yeah. well, I suppose we'll see. We'll see now because Steve does have you know he has full hand now. He has enough activation certainly. Yeah, to I mean play he, something back here. Yeah, he can't do a massive beatdown on Qui Gon, but he could certainly get Vader or you know Maul and do Maul strikes there. Yeah. Um. You know. Casey also couldn't refill his hand, so I mean, he's got to. He, his barrier is no good. He knows that, so he's either got to be le relying on dodge or blaster deflection or something along those lines. Uh, yeah. Because blast the door kid can't be used, barrier can't be used. So well, that's great destiny for Steve. Steve might win this race. <laughs> I wonder if they fix the the bug on racing. Because if you're using R2 and Red 5, it was forcing the 0 to be chosen. That would be bad. Yeah. Especially for Casey, who's down 13, 16 at the moment. Yeah. Oh, man. And he's going to be 16 to 5 after this. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a great, great set of draws there. No. I mean, if... Unless Suppose you get rid of a couple of ones for the, um, you know, if if there's a battle here, but yeah, he he definitely got rid of the ones for the various things that he doesn't want them there for. But it also does show he doesn't have a blaster deflection in his hand, or less likely to now. And you know, Steve's up sixteen to five. I mean, if Steve draws what a, I think it's a six or higher next turn. He just wins the race. So, uh, let's see, it's greater than 24. Yeah, so six or higher, and Steve just wins the race. Well, there's a seven he might be able to activate down to somehow next turn to get to that. Steve did lose two sevens to Visage. He lost a Visage from hand and then a Phantom off the top, but... Yeah, I mean, he just needs a six, not a seven. So, I mean, Masterful Move combo, or not combo, but Masterful Move and... You know, those, uh, I think they there might have been another one that they might have played. Um, but if he draws it in his hand, he can't really get it back. Yeah. So, and Maul's going to stay here because he's immune to attrition right now in this battle. So that's really good for Steve. Yeah. Uh, exactly seven is not great, but yeah. he gets another shot. So. Margaret's the, oh, he, okay. That's the destiny he wanted for race. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than getting a one on there. And there's the blaster deflection. In case he played that right. You yeah. Know, you, you see if they swing the first time and hit. If not, then it's a lovey. Yeah, yeah, definitely supposed to blaster deflection the second hit. So the second shot, so. Let's see if they... Uh, I wonder if he's got mall strikes. Or at least maybe make Casey use that choice. No. Alright. Yeah, Casey's going to use the six. To give the choice to Steve to lose a couple of force. Which, I mean, that shouldn't be a bad thing for Steve, because. Yeah, I can't imagine he's not going to just peel two. Yeah. Probably will peel the the uh, Blizzard Four. And yeah, Blizzard Four doesn't look like it's going to be applicable at all here, and yeah. not like, and like a fine destiny, but not like a super great one. Yeah, so he'll 
Yep, there's the Blizzard 4. He lost the back door in Blizzard 4, which seems fine. Yeah. And I presume he moves away? Yeah, I would. Force... I mean, he's technically safe there because Casey can't battle. Sure, but you at least make him use a force to move right. to combat you if you're gonna. Right, it, it's one less card Casey's gonna draw into his hand of two. Yeah. I guess the counter argument is that the combat. Well, no. I was gonna say the counter argument is that the, the combat is probably fine next turn because you're both just random drawing. But. Well, um, Casey's got one stacked. Oh, he does? Oh, yeah, he does. He does. Okay. Yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, I definitely want to move away then. Yeah, I mean, he's got one stacked. Well, you know, he doesn't have a dodge. I mean, so, like, they usually play two or three dodges, two or three blaster deflections, so, you know. Yeah, interesting that Steve didn't pull his grabber going into that battle. Yeah. Could you kind of have to assume that he's got something? And Blaster Deflection seems like a card that you would want to grab if you're running a lot of weapons. I don't know if he is, though, necessarily. He might just be, like, several APP malls, I would assume. Yeah, he, he's probably got s several of those, and, you know, Steve might have, like, a strike blocked or something here, which would be kind of big. to cancel that seven but I guess not so Steve just has to draw what nine to stay alive well that's a good start five or greater yeah nine or eight well, five or greater good. means no he needed to get to an eight because five yeah. or greater causes him to lose mall yeah and yeah he drew a mall would be that's that's six force loss, right? No, because he. Doesn't oh no, it's all. It's only it's only two from it's two from the uh, objective. Yeah, it's two from the objective and two from. Uh, Qui Gon. Yeah. Yeah, that was a. I mean, that the opening has gone terribly for Steve. So. But if he can win the race, then now we're kind of talking about stuff. And if he activates eleven down, I think that's where. Um, he might have something. I forget what's 11 down. Let's see. No, I think 11 down was only one of those fours that he drew. Yes, I don't think he saw a destiny that was especially high last turn. No. I mean, we know, he, we know he's 716 on the bottom, but... Yeah, so he'll have 12 in reserve deck. If he could shuffle his reserve deck before he draws, then he'll get that 7 and 6, having a higher chance to get up. Oh, he's going to shuffle now? Alright. I presume that's because he wants to actually get, yeah, the no escape or something. <laughs> yeah, more than likely. Which, I wonder if he just forgot to pull the Caridia then. I just assumed he probably didn't want to deploy it. But... Nope, not enough. Oh, does have two first strikes, though. Yeah. Although now they're both stacked as race destinies, so... You know, that's not great. Uh. Yeah. And... They didn't. Combat didn't really play a lot of um, ways to get rid of ones off the racer. Mm -hmm. You you had a step backward is kind of about it. So you know Casey's down twenty three to fifteen here. He still has to make up eight next turn. That's going to be large, especially when well he's got to make up eleven because Casey or because. So Sebulba draws and adds three to his destiny, so before they even draw next turn, he's already eleven behind. So Yeah, it does look like Steve's pulling the Caridia. 
I wonder if he just forgot then. <coughs> forgot to see what immediate effect did Casey pull into his hand. He took a, uh, he took a Vergence. Okay. And then stacked it on Inner Strength for the oh. lightsaber combat. That's fair. Or at least he then stacked a Vergence. I assume it was the same one, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. Right. Steve's gonna play battle order here. Yeah, he pulled coward, which is interesting. I kind of feel like the secret plans must have just been like a reaction, like a. Well, secret plans was before he flipped his objective, so he could. No, he pulled secret plans after he flipped his objective. Oh, he did. Yeah. yeah. Then he just missed. Yeah. That. Well, no, I, I was like, I was gonna say, I feel like the secret plans was maybe just like a, like an instinct response to, right. to him retrieving something. Yeah. Yeah, and the one, the one good thing about combat is it doesn't put a lot of cards on cable. So if K, you know, even though Casey won by twenty one, you know he lost by twenty one. Or yeah, he's sorry, he lost by 21. He still has a really good shot of making it up here. And Brony does not go ahead and play the battle order, so... Man, there's... Those are all the cards he wants in his deck, and not in this lost battle. Well, if he wins the race next turn, he can retrieve them. Yeah. And if he wins the race next turn, that will be a pretty big hit on Casey. Like, combat losing the race will set him back. Because it does not have a lot of ways to retrieve or anything like that. So. But of course, you know, him having goo has really slowed Steve down. I mean, Casey got very lucky getting that in his opening hand. Yeah. Because if Goo's not here, then Steve's dropping multiple characters a turn. And I mean, there's a reason why we got rid of that card. <laughs> <laughs> that card's terrible. Alright, so Yoda and 3PO. <clears throat> Jeez. All the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, now, and Casey's going wide because Steve didn't pull Battle Order. He pulled the Grabber instead. So, right. yeah. You know, well, that's what I was saying. Like, I feel like the secret plan was just, like, a snap decision because, like, I feel like as he thought about it, he's like, oh, Coward's probably actually better. And then he pulled Coward correctly. But now he's, now he's shield limited. Now he's, now he's busted, so. I, I mean, honestly, I think I just would have left secret. Like, you pull secret plans or Coward, you don't, you shouldn't pull them both. Right. Um, but you know, you you should like if Steve pulls battle order here, then Gacy can't go as wide because now he's spending you know nine force a turn to drain. He can't really do much else. But I mean, he's activating fifteen. I mean, he could. It's conceivably still possible he could pull something off like that. But yeah, I feel like the large activation, like the amount of activation that Lightside's getting at least, was kind of why Secret Plans was sort of like eh. Like, yeah, but I mean, you it makes him like that turn he goes into the race. He has to save, you know, seven force on your turn, give or take. You know, he at least has to save six for the retrieval, yeah, and then sure. if you, and then, I mean, he doesn't really probably have to worry about first strike since we see two of them stacked. But yeah, that's a reasonable consideration. And of course, Steve's all Steve's really trying to do. Steve doesn't need to win this game. You know, he just has to get Casey under 21 cards. And Which he, you're not too far off right now is right. 14 over at this point. Right. So, you know, he's he's getting closer. Like, Casey has, still has to deal with the threat of Visage. You know, if Steve gets a beat down somewhere, I mean, Casey... I would assume with the core in play, Casey has Gick, but... 
maybe he's doing it to just kind of get a main over there from Steve. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, oh my god! All opponents catch a chance. Of, yeah, <laughs> just red gunny take it. Gunny take is so much better than bad feeling. Oh, it, it's insane! Like Gunny take was legitimately one of the most annoying cards of this period, and for the like two years prior to this period. Um, basically, once Pod Racing came out and Lights, I could just start with it on the table. It became pretty unbearable. So, and it, but I mean, in like a deck like combat, where you're giving up five icons on your start to your opponent, you kind of need something like that to, you know, bring it back to a more reasonable starting ratio. Like, yeah, you know, a six-five starting ratio is not a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So, but Steve got both of it. I mean, but Barone, uh, but Casey got both of his activation sites in his own room or his opening hand so you know, he was activating 5 plus already oh Casey dropped I assume it's connection problems yeah I would assume so <laughs> he's not just noping out of this game that he's winning yeah. um, I mean, he could be noping out of this game that he's winning <laughs> no he returned <laughs> both players i mean have lots of time but yeah, yeah this... i don't think i don't think timeout is likely to be an issue in this particular game no and this format while it is slower than our current format you know the damage still happens so yeah and it seemed to me from watching the previous game that it was like it was slower to develop but i don't think the gameplay was slower so i don't think that like I don't think there was necessarily a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of like oh the games were like way more grindy shears like much more likely to to uh, draw out or whatever to to time out or something. Right. Yeah, I mean, we had battles that actually ended the game. We had you know damage being done and less retrieval or mitigation. Um. You know, you didn't really develop and just sit between two stacks of people at two different locations, you know. There was a lot more interaction. We just... There is a lot of negative gameplay from various cards. Um, that was actually uh, exactly what Steve wants to draw there. Yeah, just get exactly enough to win and not... Well, because now if Casey a step backwards, they lose the same amount. Like Casey loses a, f yeah he stopped this, so they would lose the, he, he would lose a four and Steve loses a four, so, you know Steve doesn't fall tremendously far behind by giving that up, but we'll see what he does here. And I don't know if it's, I mean I I would assume Casey also has a dodge in his hand, so he's just gonna be able to dodge the corn away. Um, but if Steve can knock him off of one battleground, then Casey can't drain at the Executor too. So yeah. he, he probably is just going to ignore Corn and go after Yoda. That was my that was going to be my guess. Although, well, yeah, uh, yeah, Yoda's easier to deal with than Qui Gon. Well, he's one power less. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like, uh, Yoda, yeah, Yoda's Yoda's easier yeah. to deal with. Well, no, you can he's in a P fifty nine. I mean, P fifty nine is if you have P fifty nine specifically as your attack, that's a pretty reasonable one to to kill Corrin Orn with. Yeah, I, I think Steve hasn't drawn a single Dark Jedi yeah, for character. Like he he lost a Maul. He's gonna dodge away. Okay. Well, Steve also wants to. He's he's kind of priced into forcing to save. Um, well, that was a good one. Yeah. But he's also priced into saving. Um, yeah, he has to save six, six force here. Yeah. yeah. So. Because even though Casey doesn't have aim high, it's likely that he will. Yeah. I didn't realize that Gick was sensible when you were doing that. Yeah, it totally is. 
Yeah, it's only the first part. And You're that, seven. Man, that was a, <laughs> that was the perfect draw he needed. Man, Steve is just running into a lot yeah. of bad luck here. Oh yeah, because I completely forgot. Second get combo. <laughs> oh, here's another one because it's not unique. That's awesome. That, I mean, it's obvious that from Steve's hand that he doesn't have a ton in there as far as you know characters and stuff. So it's not a hundred percent surprising to see him have a second get combo. <clears throat> and uh, that is misses. not enough. Probably his lowest destiny in there, though. And if Steve gets to retrieve six here, then that's just gonna put those get combos back in his deck, so. Yeah. And I assume by that pool that Casey does not have the step backwards to stop it. So that will be pretty big for Steve being able to retrieve six and get, you know, four more cards back. Yeah, I mean, a step backwards would buy a turn, right? But then he'd be able to use the Bulbous Pod Racer because they'd both be at 23. Or no, he'd be no. at 20. He'd be at 20. Yeah, it'd be 23 yeah. to 20. And yeah. Casey draws two. Right. Uh, the sense went to the use pile like it's supposed to do. But he... So, Shaw, he... Um, Casey he drew... Second. He drew a zero on the sense, so it got past the plus four from Hunt Down. And then Baroni had a second get combo to cancel the dodge. Because get combo is not unique. And yep, Hunt Down wins the race. So he gets P59, Double Gick, Visage, Phantom Menace, and Mall Strike. <clears throat> yep. Casey's got some easy cards to lose out of his hand since they're pretty much dead cards anyway. Since he did not win the race, might as well lose that I did it. Lose the Blast the Door Kid. So Steve's getting four cards back. Casey's getting six. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad for Casey. No. I mean, the Qui-Gon lightsaber, but I mean, he lost that from hand, so he's making the decision on that. Yeah. Whether he has a second copy of that card or not. Is it stacked on Anakin's pod racer right now? Oh. What? I don't know if I would have lost it from hand, then. Yeah, maybe... But I guess he thinks that Baroni... I mean, he probably doesn't have too much too much uh, defense right now maybe so he's thinking you know Baroni's just going to battle his he's not going to be able to combat as much I mean even if he's going to battle I kind of feel like you'd still want the lightsaber right um it depends I mean like Baroni's only activating 13 he has a 5 card hand you know, he, he's not getting enough with Goo out to drop multiple guys. Like, Vader and Fett would cost him, what, 7, 13, so that's 13 uh, force? Yeah. No, more than that, it's eight, 15 force. So, you know, Vader Tarkin is 6 plus 8 is 14. I mean, there's not a lot that Steve's going to be able to do that you need the lightsaber for the combat side, it's the adding one to your lightsaber draws that's more important. But, I mean, Steve's really far behind in this game with the goose and everything. Um, him saving three makes me wonder if he's going to Wisa for the first strike here and just try to bludgeon Casey down. I would like this a little bit more if he had played Battle Order. Oh, that's good. Nice. So, oh, Pod Racer Collision allows him to search and place one interrupt found there out of play if he gets to verify his opponent's use deck. So, basically, Casey will not be doing a lot of verification now because it's a used 5 that goes back. And the bigger part is it allows him to reduce that 
force in his life force one more card down. So, I mean, he goes to 25 in his reserve deck area, plus 5 in hand. So, you know, he's only, what, five, 10 cards right now away from being under the magic number. So. Yeah, Collision collision seemed really good there, because you also get to force him to lose it from life force. Right. I kind of wonder what Casey was... I guess he was just sh wanted to shuffle away the cards that were just put back. Yeah. Because I don't know what he would be looking for here. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not sure what he would be looking for here. I, I mean, he, he would want to do this before activate. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I could think of that he would he was looking for was the saber. Because he he already had. Right, and he knows that he can't get all the way down to it just activating. Right, because he had Qui Gon, which he already has out. I mean, he could, I guess he could have been looking for the Blaster Deflection, too. He doesn't need Speak. He doesn't need Were You Looking For Me. He doesn't need Wisa. Like, all those cards are cards he doesn't need. So the only two he needed were the Blaster Deflection or the Lightsaber. Yeah. But, you know, Casey also has to be careful with drawing up, because if he draws five cards, Steve just doesn't care anymore. Yeah. Like... He is, like, way ahead in damage currently, but he's also pretty close to yeah. a threshold, so. Yeah, I mean, it, Casey would be very far ahead in this game if it was game one, you right. know, but the fact that Steve is essentially sitting with 49 cards in his life force or in his reserve deck area, you know, uh -huh. makes it a lot harder for him. He lost Accelerate from hand. That's interesting. Yeah. It, I guess, it, I think he maybe just wants to save the force, actually, right? Like, he maybe just wants to save the three. Oh, or man. Save the, well, he then lost one from force pal. Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Yeah, and, he, and he's getting another controlled tunnel vision from Casey. So Casey's losing life force to lose another life force. So he's losing essentially two life force with this card. Because it's presumably it's to get something that he wanted to... De I mean, maybe the lightsaber to deploy. If he does that, then he's down two more cards. Yeah. I don't actually think that he has... I guess there's no pilot Jedi that he would play, right? So he can't put anybody on R2 to get past Zuckus? Uh, I mean... He... Let's see... And, like, he lost the Han Chewie the Falcon. Right. So the only thing he could put on there... I mean, he could have Han Chewie in Spiral. Spiral was a sometimes yeah, sure. a common thing. Um, Art, with it being R2, I mean, even if he had... Usually you played, like, two Han Chewies, so you could have another one. You could R2 and do that. But, I mean, right now he's at exactly 20 cards in his deck. So he's one behind where he needs to be to force the tie. And I don't know what the lost pile counts were off the top of my head for game one. Yeah, I don't remember either. But this is kind of a matchup that ends up dictating a lot of lost pile. And Steve doesn't have a ton of cards on the table right now. so And he didn't activate it all. So I can find out real quick. Uh, let's see. Looks like it's awesome software. I wonder. Weird. Steve didn't activate it all. What has he got? Oh, now Casey's lost pile was enormous. Casey's lost. Casey was. It was like thirty to fourteen. Okay. Yep. Ah, that's what he was doing. I see. What's up, Justin? Yeah, I mean, I guess he could be trying to find, like, an on-the-edge or something. And this is good by Casey to at least get a card out of his hand that would otherwise be dead back if he has to lose Qui-Gon here. Because I assume... Oh, he doesn't battle. So he's tracking to... to sevens, I'm guessing, to stay on the table to buy another turn. Steve is playing this multi-turns down the down the road. Uh, 
Casey's in good position, but Baroni's got something up his sleeve, which makes me stop and pause, Justin. Yeah, I mean, Kate, like, I, I would, I, it looks likely that Casey could, would probably win this game, but Casey also has to put six, uh, like, three cards back to actually win the match. Yeah. Well, I guess one from Qui-Gon, so I guess only two. Or, no, one? One, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, before Steve's last turn, I would have said Casey's winning this game. It's just a determination about how much he's going to win it by. Steve not activating enough. He activated eight out of his 14. <laughs> Says to me he's got plans. And... Yeah, so Casey's going to do... I guess he's going to drop somebody on R2 here to get around it. Yep, there you go. And Steve doesn't have a get combo. Unless he's playing three. This will probably end up being the game now. Yeah, I think it's that Visage... The Phantom Menace is what he's got on top. But thankfully, I mean, Casey only gets the one battle destiny. Yeah. And then Steve draws his seven. And he's got a, I think, what's underneath that other one? Is it, it was seven, seven, I don't remember what he stuck. It's either a four or a one underneath the other seven. I wonder if Steve's trying to figure out if he needs to draw the destiny. I'm pretty sure he does. Oh, because he want because he wants a seven so seven it, stacked. Th this is not the same as like a battle destiny situation, where mm -hmm. although you're allowed to substitute with inner strength because you have no reserve, you you don't have an upcoming destiny to substitute right because like i know i know with battle destiny substitution you have to have a destiny available to draw in order to substitute right so i, I if you if you have no cards in reserve you can't you can't spin yeah and i i think with i think it's more steve didn't want to break up his sevens he's not worried about the combat this turn he okay. just didn't want to break up his sevens that were stacked together because he had the Phantom Menace and Visage stacked together, which means he gets around the, all the combats that Casey has. Yeah. Now that makes sense. I was just thinking, I wonder if he's considering it for... Well, no, that, that couldn't really be because he would have to peel anyway, so he would be losing off the... He yeah, would have to be peeling off the top if he doesn't. Uh... Yeah, and he's peeling... I mean, he's still peeling five here, so... Yeah. He breaks... Oh, it was the get combos underneath it. That's right. Yeah. Oh, and it makes sense then why he wouldn't, uh, why he wouldn't accelerate for the first strikes because he still had it all tracked up. Yeah, and he uh, he also, I think the card then that was on top of those sevens, one of the ones he drew, was a Vader. So I I'm fully expecting Steve was thinking he was going to um, combat, and then he had a backup Vader in his hand as well. Because I think he has Math Vader in his hand right now. It's interesting, though, that he didn't move away, so I wonder if Casey's got Dodge in his hand or Blaster Deflection then. I mean, he may just not want to give up a Drain of Three. That's true. Because he... Doesn't he doesn't have that much to play with? That's true. So, I don't I don't think he can give up the drain of three. Yeah, I was pretty sure he had Fett in his hand. It would make sense for him to try to do the goo tax over two turns with that Vader play. Mm -hmm. But we'll see if Casey has a dodge or not here. Yeah. There were other things to kind of stop the reacts and whatnot, but I don't know how many of them that Darkseid had in their decks at that time. I mean, 
This is still, like, kind of okay, though, right? Because... Yeah, it's a drain of one and two. Well, and Casey's have to lose a card for that. Right. So we're still at, you know, of the three cards in his hand, he can afford to lose maybe two of them if he can get Qui-Gon to die and put that put well, that other that combat card back. If he can combat Vader away, but see, I don't think Casey realizes that Steve's got another Vader in his hand and it's a much, much worse Vader for him if he can find a lightsaber to go on him. Um, or a ship to put him on. Or a ship. Nah, I wouldn't really worry about that. I mean, the ships, he probably has another Zuckus somewhere. I mean, I know he's got a Maul thing in there. A Maul against Lando in space is not the worst, because Lando's not adding any power to it, because he can't... It yeah. only does power to the Falcon, so he's not doing that. So it's power 5 to... Maul ship is power 3. Maul doesn't... I don't think Maul adds anything. Uh, there's Maul right Jana, there. Jaina made a good point there. Uh, it's actually just a drain of 1. Because... Oh, that's right. Yeah, combat's flipped. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, Steve's... Steve's pretty far up. I mean, him also getting that Vader down and not battling stopped those extra drains last turn for Casey, too, so Casey didn't have any damage for that turn, and Steve yeah. got to set up again. And now he's got a drain of one, and Steve's getting to set up. And Casey can't really draw any more cards in his hand at this point because he needs to stay around this threshold to just win the match. Yeah. So Steve's played this beautifully like I kind of expected him to. He had a plan. He knows Steve's been in this situation multiple times to know these match play limitations. Um, so that has to be a... So he's going to be moving over to combat. Yes. There's no way that makes sense otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, that's the only thing Casey can do is move over yeah. in combat. Although now is here, now here is where you wish you actually had Qui-Gon Saber. Because if right. if you had the Saber, then you could, during the next battle, put Fett used. Yeah. Not being able to put Fett used now is really going to, could potentially hurt Casey. Yeah, you're probably the only one watching while in church. I'm not allowed in church. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall that puts me in between there. It's interesting that he chose Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, though, in this. There's a seven. There is a... I think there is a saber. I wonder if Casey just forgot that he could do that at... Because I did. Once per game, he can lose two force. He also might not really oh, yeah. force to lose. Yeah, he probably he probably just can't lose two force at this point, I would guess. Yeah. I mean, as we said, he only had two as a window right. to be able to get around. And then since now, Steve just loses four to survive this combat. Yeah. And then, I mean, like, if he has an Accelerate, he can even, like, get back the first strike, and then... Yeah, and Casey's forced to move Yoda over to not just... Not just lose to Overflow. But, I mean, I haven't seen Dr. E combo from Steve either, so that's... He cool. lost it. He Did lost he? to Visage earlier, yeah. Okay. He might have two, but he certainly lost one to Visage earlier. Yeah, they sometimes play two. Yeah, I mean, Casey's, Casey's having to play around that, um, you know, 20th threshold too much. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely agree that it's probably his best way to at least not die to Fett here, but, you know, two forces a lot, and light side combat doesn't have a ton of ways to retrieve once you fail from the race. Like, it kind of limits the retrieval a little bit, especially with Lando chilling in R2. Like, you can't even have Lando on the ground to retrieve one. You can't, you know, 
there isn't really much else in combat that lets you retrieve. I mean, yeah, it seemed like the the Leia Rebel Princess on the Edge thing that uh, was suggested in the chat seems like one of the few, one of the few ways. I mean, yeah, it, it, he could have lay, you know Leia or Corrin. Corrin's lost now, but it looks like Steve's going for first strike. Potentially, but I don't really know why. I guess just more damage. He doesn't. This is really... kind of a weird way to do it, because he could just activate right down to the first strike and then use accelerate. Oh, he oh, wants he's visage. visage. Okay, that makes okay. more sense. Yeah. He just wants to get the visage damage train going again. And Casey's probably out of spies with Corrin already gone, so. I like that. Yeah, because he has Leia, Rebel Princess, so he wouldn't have. I guess the spy Leia's not. I guess Bausch is okay? Mm. No, Bausch you is like, what spy Leia's. I was just reading the Leia Persona thing for Open, and there's a bunch of good ones in there, but yeah, I, was like, I don't think Leia Organa is playable. I don't think. Uh... Yeah, and I mean, Steve's just trying to get let's say five more damage through and then Casey's done. Yeah. So he doesn't really care. Like Steve doesn't have to play this to actually win the game. He's right. he's got such a huge cushion. Yeah, and making him play the blast deflection so he can grab it. That yep. makes sense. Yep, it's one force that Casey doesn't get back. So And there's a six. I mean, drawing three battle destiny of whatever is going to... Jeez. All Casey's guys are immune, but yeah, <laughs> it doesn't really matter if he draws oh 17. <laughs> wow. So power 30 to your 9 in a destiny. Good luck. So 30 to 15, lose by 15. That's, I think, exactly have to, both. Have to lose both guys, and then... It's one... It, yeah, I mean, you have to lose both of them. Or lose Qui Gon in eight, or sorry, well, six. He, he doesn't have that. One. He can. He has like two that he can afford to lose, so he just has to lose both guys. Right. And the really crappy thing is he didn't draw, you know, enough to get around Fett. Like, yeah, Casey. Yeah, and... Casey should have gotten that the lightsaber out of his lot pile that turn. Now hunt downs flip, so he doesn't take damage. Casey takes damage. Well, at least Casey didn't put, like, a Luke with lightsaber up there, because then he couldn't even drain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't see a good path here. Not not being down 24s for the match, I don't. Right, yeah. Like, once he lost his own race, I think it was downhill from there. Um Like, he, he drew a lot of bad destiny there. Of course, you know, it, Steve got bail. It helped bail Steve out from the that initial beginning luck that he didn't have. So what can Casey even do here? He's 20 in life force. He has to retrieve one in order to even tie. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh... he's getting... He got Luke... Luke back, so he can drop Luke. Oh, nope. Now he can't combat with Luke. Oh, you're saying if he got Luke back and then stacked his other card and then drew whatever the destiny is? Yeah, because it was a Luke and a... And it was something that was useful. I don't know. Oh, we maybe we, did, we didn't see it, yeah. I, I think we saw it with... Um, one of the battles that he had. I think I thought it was a seven there, but I could be wrong. Uh that Oh, I you know, because you can't combat okay. I think Casey is done. Oh Casey I mean Casey's done just because like Baroni just moves away and he's he stops the drain from Casey for the three and Casey's taking visage visage at the end of two turns. Like he's under the limit. Steve just doesn't doesn't matter now. Yeah. Like 
like I said, like Casey has options to win the game, just not by enough to yeah cover the twenty one split from the first game. Yeah, losing that saber from hand actually seemed like maybe yeah. I don't know. I don't want to say the decider, but like that was. I assume he I thought he just didn't need it, but man, right. like it adds to the. I mean, you you saw Steve was about to get two sevens tracked, or at least you should have seen that. Like it was in his loss pile, coming up. So, um. You know, Steve was going to get those two sevens tracked. You having that saber might make the difference in winning combats. And winning combats is still four force loss. Like, Casey not combating on the turns. Like, he's missed two or three turns of combating. That's potentially 12 damage, which is exactly Steve's life force. Like, when you're combat, you want to combat. It doesn't matter if, you know, you're not going to get rid of the character sometimes, but the, the damage is there. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this turn it wasn't it wasn't going to be four. It would have only been two because he he lost Qui Gon already. Qui Gon, but... yeah. But... but like that turn, like what Jared was saying in the chat, like last turn, if he had had the saber, he's not losing. Yeah, Steve's just drawing up, or drawing up to like one card and then letting Visage kill him. I assume. Sure. Um. You know he can just. You know, Casey can't really do anything now to get it up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yep, Steve wins the match by, what, 8? So, Casey won the game by 13, but Steve wins the match. Yeah. So, and like I said, this is this was pretty much the meta that we had at the time, was Hunt Down versus Combat. You know, the one deck I think that people haven't registered that I, I think would be fun was Bastion's deck that he won Worlds with. Um, the All Your Base deck. I think that would have been a good call at times. Um, what was that deck? You started Tatooine System for Darkseid, and you played Docking Bays and used the Darkseid version of I'll Take the Leader. I think it's Fighters coming in to increase your drains at Docking Bays. You set up at Docking Bays with little chicken walkers that could react around Maul in space, Baron in space. And Tatooine Occupation, so. With, like, Mas Espa and yep. Dogman 94 and the Spaceport one? Yeah. So. Anyways, well, uh, Steve moves on to the finals and sets up the all KTOD finals, whether it'll be Chu or his uh, actual real teammate for 30 years. Uh, Steve will be remain to be seen. Thanks for joining us, everybody, and we'll go ahead and call it here. Uh, the next stream will be next weekend, I believe, on Saturday. It'll be both games for Chu and uh, Justin. Uh, when does it start? When does it start? When does it start? Uh, 10 a.m. Eastern next Saturday. Uh, so I, it will probably be me doing both games. Uh, so come join us for Desai and Chu Retro next Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. See you guys then.